Welcome collectors, today we're going to be taking a look at the Diecast Masters Core Classics Caterpillar D10T in 1 to 50 scale. The item number is 85158C, as with all Core Classics series. You can tell that immediately by not only the style and color of the box, but by the C designation next to the item number. So let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box, and we'll go ahead and take a look at it. So this model has a long history. It started out in 2006 as a Norscott release, and uh, it was updated a couple times by Norscott with a couple different trade dress paint schemes. One was an all yellow, and uh, one had was very similar to this with the anti-glare on it. And then Diecast Masters, once they obtained the license, they improved the functionality of it. And now, it is in the Core Classics line. Let's go ahead and get it out of the packaging. As you can see on the back, there is your specification details for this dozer. There's a nice black and white picture on it. Before I go ahead and get this out, I'll show you what it looks like in the front. There it is in the clear window packaging. Cat D10T track type tractor. Adult collectible diecast scale model replica. There's your item number, of course. All right, now let's go ahead and get this thing out. So the D10 is the second largest dozer in the Caterpillar range. And way back in the day, it was the first dozer to feature the elevated drive sprocket. That was kind of a big deal back in the late 70s when Cat came up with that. Okay, so with the packaging out of the way, let us focus on the model. So this thing has a lot of awesome qualities going for it. One, the tracks roll very, very well on any surface, including one that's as extremely smooth as this. I don't even have to put any pressure on it, and in either forward or reverse, the tracks roll very, very well. There should be a little idler here to help the tracks move. Um, that is an option on the real... You normally see that on the real machine. I don't know why it's not on here. On the front, here's your dozing blade with your cutting edge. A nice blade. Here are your silvered painted front-facing lights, your dual cylinders going to the blade. Here's your dual exhaust. Obviously your black anti-glare paint. So with this being a Core Classics model, Bob is permanently affixed inside of the cab. Bob is, our, of course, our operator friend. So as I mentioned on the other side, a lot of the reference photos and things that I've seen, even the real D10s, they, they'll have another sprocket or idler or whatever you want to call it here. And I've actually seen recently that one of the 3D printers, modelers, whatever you want to call it, they actually have an add-on piece. So... Don't let that detract you from buying this model. You can actually purchase a 3D printed sprocket roller and uh, put it on your model so that the tracks don't hang quite this way. They hang a little bit better. So I just wanted to make sure that I made that abundantly clear. This dozer has two ripper shanks. And here's your two lights as well. I mentioned the track detail. Here you can see how they sag a little bit, but they are metal, they're tensioned, you can take them off if you'd like. And that's about it for the detail. This right here, this grab rail, that's actually an improvement to metal on here. So is this one. These are metal as well. Your stacks, those are still plastic. Your rams, those are plastic. But there actually is quite a lot of metal content, even in the subtle, small, um, accent detail on this, which is really, really good to see. All right, let's go to the function. So you can tilt your blade back and forwards. You can see you've got a pretty good range there on your cylinder. And you can move the blade up and down. And you can also, as you can see, you can also tilt your blade left to right. And that's helped by this right here. So a lot of the positions of the real dozer you can replicate in 1 to 50 scale. 
but the cylinders are very, very stiff, so you got to be careful. Moving to the rear, again, if you want to lower the ripper, you can do that. You can also pull the ripper out farther, right here. So this is a very functional 1 to 50 scale track type tractor or dozer model. And it's because it is a Core Classic series model now, all of the Core Classic models by default are designed to be less expensive than the Highline series models. So you're really getting good value for your money. And personally, I think any of the large cat dozers are, I mean, honestly, I, I think they're great. So, if you're looking for a larger dozer, particularly of a D10 or D11, and you've been on the fence about which one to get, and you're looking for one that not only looks good, but you can actually replicate a lot of the real moves, this is a good one to get. Again, the tracks are great. The ripper is also very easy to take off if you want to modify it and put a winch on. You can take the blade off for a transport load. You got to do that all yourself by drilling out these rivets. It's not designed to come off, but you can do that with relative ease. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Until next time, take care, be safe. I'll see you in the next video review.